Hi, Hiram here. Well, I'm here to do another oil test using this Vargo Titanium Hexagon wood stove. Man, that's a mouthful. Previously, uh, my first test, like I do with any wood stove that I get, I try it out with the Mini Trangia, put it in there, uh, right on the tray so that it made it about two inches between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. A little bit too much space there, plus it was blocking up the uh, air holes that are on the bottom. See that? So I thought that blocking the air holes meant that maybe the burner wasn't getting enough air. What I wanted to do was make a stand that would go in there to lift the burner up, but then I had others say, do the test with the door open. So I did that. Got worse time. Let's see, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 6 minutes 58. When I did it with just the Trangia in there, two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. Came to a boil in 6 minutes and 11 seconds. So leaving the door didn't really help. It looked like all of the flame and stuff came out through the front door, through the door rather, and up the side of the pot rather than coming out of these, I don't know what you want to call them, ports or whatever. So I think the door has to be closed so that the heat is focused up onto the pot. What I wanted to do, and I'm going to try it this in this test, is make something that would fit flat into the bag that the stove comes in. I'm thinking of something like, although I don't think this will work as good as it should, is the ever new titanium cross pieces. I got to get some uh, aluminum plate, some straps, whatever, and make something like this. This is a little bit taller than one inch, so that means we won't have that one inch sweet spot. But just to see if I'm on the right idea, I thought I'd try this today. What I'll do is just lay this in here like this. Now you got to do this with it open because the uh, Trangia burner doesn't fit in here otherwise. But can you see that? So now the air can come up through these holes on the bottom and feed the burner. Let me just light this, get it going. And you just got to fit it into the slot. Come on. This is me. This has nothing really to do with the stove. I'm just not handy with this yet. Let me try to center that. Just like that. Now it's kind of hard for me to control the temperature of the water. It's so freaking hot in here. This was 60 degrees just a minute ago. Let's wait till this blooms. Come on. Now I think with this being up off those holes, the air can come in through the bottom, get heated up and lift out. Okay, now we got a bloom there. So here I've got two cups of water, now sitting at 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're now at about three minutes into the test. I hope you can see, but the flames on this are much, much bluer than what it was before. Also, the flames are coming out of these jets and up this, all the way around the side of the pot. So hopefully this works out a little better. Okay, there we have 210. Come on, 211. Two twelve at eight thirty five. Wow, I must say that really surprises me. Okay, let me put this out real quick. 
so I can get an alcohol consumption measurement. Okay. Hmm. That really surprises me and disappoints me. I mean, I didn't think this would be great, but I thought it would be better than the other two runs, and here it's the worst run of them all. Don't understand. Hmm. I don't know. The only thing I can see is the uh, Evernew is... is uh, we need about one inch between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. That seems to be the uh, sweet spot, you might say for the best, fastest heating up of water. So I thought raising it up one inch would give me that one inch on the top, but this Evernew is a little bit more than an inch, so the distance between this to the bottom of the pot is more like seven-eighths of an inch. I really didn't think that would make that much of a difference. I mean, now it's getting plenty of air. I think you saw on camera two, hopefully it showed up, the flames were all blue rather than yellow like last time. This is what it looked like last time. I'll put it up here. All yellow and stuff. This time it was blue. Pretty near all blue. So that should have meant that it was burning good. Hmm. Just don't know. Okay. Well, I guess I have to get some one inch flat stock and cut a cross section thing like this myself and try it with one inch rather than the, this taller thing. I really I really thought that would have done it. Okay, well, talking to myself here now. Although I guess I am all the time. Anyway, this was with the uh, Evernew to lift it up to one inch, but one inch plus. Two cups of water starting at 61 degrees came to a full boil in 8 minutes 35 seconds. Okay, boy, thank you for watching. Uh, I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions here. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.